Hello and welcome to this short presentation of HPE's Edge Computing Solution. My name is Hans Argesen. I'm Product Manager for HP Edge Orchestrator and I'm here with Chris. Hi, my name is Chris Liu. I manage the Aruba Edge Connect product line, formerly known as Silver Peak Edge Connect. Today we want to demonstrate how combining HPE components, we bring to market a powerful edge computing solution as a bundle solution and offered as a pay-as-you-grow model. So Chris, will you start by telling more about it? Thanks, Hans. Edge computing is fast becoming an important consideration for enterprises as they deploy workloads beyond conventional locations. These include remote or outdoor sites that require specialized hardened solutions capable of tolerating extreme environmental conditions, as well as telco class central office locations requiring special compliance certification. To support network connectivity at these locations, SD-WAN is fast emerging as one of the best ways to provide secure, high-performance overlay connectivity services at scale. SD-WAN optimizes and prioritizes traffic over multiple transport technologies, including broadband, LTE, and 5G, and is an ideal way to backhaul traffic back to the operator's core network. But deployment and operations of edge compute sites in these scenarios must be simple and scalable. Enterprises don't want to deal with complexity. They prefer a simple way to connect to and access these edge services, much like an app store user experience. Fortunately, this can be achieved through intelligent orchestration and automation. So what does it take to deliver this type of solution? To start, you need a portfolio of hardware platforms optimized for deployment at the edge. HPE offers a wide range of servers from traditional ProLiant rack mount servers to edge line servers that are suitable for edge and edge compute locations. The servers come in a variety of form factors and range from ruggedized servers, like the fanless edge line 300 that supports integrated LTE, to the new DL110, which is a server suitable for usage in telco environments. Next, you need an SD-WAN solution. The powerful HPE edge compute platforms are well suited for supporting multiple virtualized network functions including a virtualized Aruba Edge Connect. This approach maximizes utilization of the edge compute platforms, minimizes appliance sprawl, and accelerates the time to establishing network connectivity. The virtual Aruba Edge Connect is ideally suited for enabling both mobile edge computing and fixed WAN edge services. The solution enables service providers to aggregate, prioritize, and optimize connectivity of IoT edge traffic, on-premise business applications, and cloud-hosted applications across a diverse WAN and wireless environment. Next, you need an orchestration solution suitable for managing the SD-WAN. The Aruba Orchestrator is the central brains of the SD-WAN, providing a top-down approach that scales to meet the challenges of having thousands of edge sites. Instead of trying to manually configure each individual site and trying to keep up with the never-ending change requests, Aruba Orchestrator takes a business-first approach using a construct called business intent overlays to define the high-level policies for each class of applications. These application policies are then interpreted by Orchestrator and without human intervention, Orchestrator performs the actual configuration of all sites, ensuring network consistency at scale. While running Virtualized Edge Connect on edge computing servers provides a tremendous amount of flexibility for customers, a solution is needed to make the lifecycle management easy. Easy to deploy, easy to service chain, easy to manage and maintain. For this, HPE is introducing support for Aruba Edge Connect within the HPE Edge Orchestrator. So as Chris says, the HPE Edge Orchestrator is all about making it simple to consume edge computing for enterprises, for the end customers. And in a nutshell, what HP Edge Orchestrator do is maintaining an application catalog in a multi-tenant fashion, such that enterprises or end customers can manage the life cycle of their workloads and applications across their edge environment. It also takes care of the connectivity. So both the connectivity in terms of connecting network devices the edges with the data centers, you know, using technologies like SD-WAN, as Chris mentioned, but also the networking happening on-site 
whether that being Wi-Fi or these days private LTE or private 5G. To give you an idea about what it looks like, we've, uh, we're going to show you a few screenshots of the solution. So when a customer logs into the system, he will get a dashboard showing a, a view of his edge environment. So where are his edge compute sites? And also, you know, the current state of those applications and devices on these sites, you know, shown as, as green, amber, red kind of color coding. And from this screen, you can then dive in or log into a site to get more information about what's happening on the site. And what you'll see there is, first of all, what kind of edge compute does he have installed and deployed on the site? What are the available resources? What are the resources which have been consumed? What are the workloads or applications that have been deployed on this particular edge site? And some of those workloads could, of course, be the, the virtual SD-WAN gateways, the Aruba Edge Connect. But it could also be, and will typically also be, other workloads that serve the, um, the enterprise use case. We also show the, the connectivity. So how are these different workloads connected from a networking perspective? So in other words, you can actually see the service chaining happening on the side. And there's also the, again, the color coding indicating the current state of those workloads as they are monitored by edge uh, orchestrator. And regarding monitoring, again, we have a possibility to dive in and show more details about the current resource consumption. And you can go back in history to get, you know, the, uh, how it's been evolving over time. And this data is used, for instance, for calculating what we call service quality indicators, which again are the triggers to show the actual color coding of the sites. The SD-WAN has a special meaning because it's all of the connectivity. So we have dedicated screens to show the status as seen by the orchestrator of the SD-WAN environment. But very often you will need to maybe dive into further uh, study or troubleshoot your SD-WAN. And what we provide here is a simple cross-launching feature that brings you with a single click into the Aruba Orchestrator. And the Aruba Orchestrator is basically a single pane of glass view of your SD-WAN environment. You can immediately see all your SD-WAN edges, the Edge Connect. You can see the state of them. You can use it for uh, identifying issues with both underlay and overlay networks. And more importantly, as Chris mentioned, what you also do from this here is that you can do reconfiguration of your SD-WAN environment. So instead of going to all the individual sites to change policies or to introduce new applications or in other ways changing your environment, you can do it directly from the central Aruba orchestrator, which will then push it to all the edge devices and update your net network. So this kind of brings us to the summary of this very short introduction of, of our edge computing um, story. So what we've shown you is that what we're doing is combining three powerful things from HPE. We have uh, edge hardware. Combining that with the Aruba Edge Connect, we can provide connectivity of the sites in a very intelligent way. And finally, we can provide this superior end customer experience by using our edge orchestrator capabilities. And all of this is then bundled together as a single solution uh, and offered as a, in a pay-as-you-grow model from a commercial point of view. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to know more about our solutions or if you have any questions to what you've seen, then please don't hesitate to reach out to either myself or Chris or contact your local HP representative. So thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.